Hello, hello. happening here on the 3000 T. Uh, we were uh, pulling out the motherboard to put a coin battery in uh, and this was all so that we could install one of the new Zulu SCSI oh, cards. There you go. Yeah. But the 3000 3, T is fully functioning right when you put it all Full, together? Fully functioning yeah. Oh. And this one's in really pristine condition, has the original feet, and Ooh, uh, wow. I even have the uh, original key that works in the what? front. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't have to go to a locksmith for that? No, it's all original. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, now, now I want to use the flyer. Yeah. <laughs> We're just fighting over the only pair of needles in the building Options. This is your boot options menu. Good point. 
So we just change that to useless. Both plastic. <laughs> Um, no, we could make it do stuff, though. But that is a, I mean, what kind of, I mean, maybe if you wanted to do it with no startup sequence or something, or, or I think what it's meant to do is set environment variables for you. So basically, what are you fixing right now? Uh, well, we're we kind of hit an impasse on a problem. Uh oh. And it's something mechanical, not electrical, and that uh. is how to get these nuts that are holding this on, which seem to have been tightened in by a monkey, <laughs> or a very large gorilla that has a lot of arm strength that has defeated me and everybody else so far. Can I try? We don't have a tool for it. That's the problem. Do you not have a tie fix it kit? I don't know. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, these two, these four nuts. Now, I think there must be oxy case or some internal Yes. That lower Yeah. 